Hi, my name is Casey Donnelly and I'm the Communications and Safe Sport Coordinator for Bulls Canada. I invite you to join me as I get to know Canada's national squad members through a virtual chat. In this next interview with a national team member, I got the chance to chat with Leanne Chinnery, a member of the senior squad. So my name is Leanne Chinnery. Um, I'm a member of Bulls Canada's senior squad. Uh, in the upcoming World Championships, I'll be skipping the fours um, and playing in the middle of the triples. Awesome. And how did you first get into Bulls? So my mum started to play a few weeks uh, before me. Um, my dad had passed away and she had started as a way to try and sort of get out and meet new people. And I was 14 and a typical stubborn teenage girl. And uh, she came home and tried to convince me to play and I kept saying no. And then eventually I uh, settled in and said, look, I'll try it. And if I don't like it, can we drop it? And she said, yep, that's fair. And that was what, 24 years ago? So I was still playing. Wow, that's great. <laughs> and did it take you some time to kind of get good, or were you a natural when you first tried it? Uh, no, I wouldn't say that I am the most naturally gifted player. I definitely had to work at it um, a little bit, but we were really lucky where I lived. There was a really um, sort of passionate uh, coach that was really keen to get young people involved. And so, yeah, we had a lot of opportunities to sort of play with adults and play with each other and compete early and I think that's probably what what definitely got me hooked. Okay, nice. And uh, why do you love the sport, would you say? Oh, so many reasons. Um, people is probably the biggest thing. Uh, everyone that plays the game knows that you've sort of got this instant community and this instant family and, you know, most of my really close friends are all from the sport. Um, but I think, too, it's... Uh, it's a unique sport in that it can be as social as you want it to be, or it can be as competitive as you want it to be. Um, and I yeah, really appreciate that about the game. I've been given so many amazing opportunities because of the game. So yeah, it's kept me hooked all these years. Nice. Um, so what do you currently do for work? So I'm a registered nurse. Um, and I actually no longer work in a hospital. I work um, for a company called Blue Scope Steel, uh, which is a pretty iconic Australian company. Um, I work as an occupational health nurse here at the large steelworks in town. Okay. So how come you're in Australia right now? Like, where did you start from? Uh, oh, anyone that knows me, I'm a bit of a gypsy. So I um, left Canada in 2008. Uh, I went to New Zealand with sort of the theory of uh, if I didn't like it, I could always go home. Um, and I've never made it back home. So <laughs> I spent nine years uh, living throughout New Zealand and then moved to Australia uh, three years ago. Yeah, and yeah, I don't, uh, yeah, I don't see myself leaving. I really, really love it down here. Cool. That's amazing. Um, do you have a fun fact about you in general? <laughs> Gosh. I don't think I do. I'm one, yeah, I'm not one of those people with any hidden talents, any nicknames, or any. Yeah, I've uh, thankfully managed to sneak under the radar with that in life. <laughs> nice, nice. Um, so, do you play any other sports? I did. You know, in high school, I think you know, like everyone else, you grew up playing this and that. I was really passionate about playing women's rugby. Um, oh, cool. When I was in high school, and yeah, if I ever could go back to a sport, that would probably be one I'd go back to obviously a little bit long in the tooth to be um thinking about contact sport I think in life again but uh yeah that would probably be but nowadays I keep fit you know go to the gym and, and do all that, that that you should be doing so cool so what's the COVID situation down there like are you locked down at all or is it better now no, we've been um hats off to the New South Wales government and the Australian government they have handled it uh, extremely well um, so I live in New South Wales, um, and we currently live pretty normal lives. I mean, obviously we social distance and there's still some restrictions on groups and gatherings and things like that, but, um, yeah, we're lucky. We have, you know, less than five cases a day. They're wow. all really well tracked. Um, and I've, I guess I'm one of the fortunate people that I've worked right through, um, being a nurse, um, that I worked. I never stopped working. I never had any time off. So yeah, right. I'm really, really fortunate when it comes to the COVID situation. Nice. That's good. Um, so what are your goals for your Bulls development? So yeah, I listened to you talk about the other people. About this. <laughs> so I've been out of 
pretty long time um, internationally and I've just, you know, I've got a couple of goals left um, to tick off the list. Obviously the medal at Asia Pacifics was a really um, big thing. Um, and now of course the, the goal is to, to improve on that and medal at the major championships. We're talking about the world championships, the Commonwealth Games. Um, and I really think that we've, you know, we've got a program in place and, and the right players around uh, to really make that, to make that happen. So awesome. yeah, that's the goal left nice. on the bucket list. That's exciting. Um, have you seen any positive changes at your club since you started playing or any clubs that you've been at? <laughs> oh, look, it's, uh, yeah, for people that have never played outside Canada, the Australian clubs would be, they're just so different and it's hard to explain, um, the difference in the game when you travel all over the world. I remember when I first, uh, played my first uh, time overseas, I went to the under 25 World Indoor Bowls Council at the time it was um, over in Belfast and I just you know I was absolutely awed by you know the the stadium and two indoor greens and yeah just the the magnitude of what the game looked like overseas and I think the clubs here are the same you know they're not just bowls clubs they're community clubs they're you know a place where people go um, so yeah it's uh, definitely it's so nice to see here um, that being said, too, I think some of the bigger Australian clubs are sort of losing the sight of being a bowls club. So sometimes, you know, they they're making improvements to the club in general, but sometimes at the expense of the actual bowls and bowls members. So yeah, it's interesting trying to get that balance right. I think hmm, that is interesting. Um, if you could tell younger you a piece of bowls advice, what would it be? Uh, probably two. I'd probably say listen. So listen to people that have played the game. Listen to people that have uh, been there and done that. Um, I was really fortunate that, you know, I, I grew up in Victoria and there was a lot of um, very talented people that had played for Canada, you know, before me. And um, the advice that they had, and it wasn't just bowls or technical advice, it was just, you know, life advice and game advice and and things so yeah definitely to listen to to people that have been there before and practice so i don't think i don't think people who want to achieve in the game probably practice enough and practice with a purpose um a, a wise coach once said there's no point in practicing what you're already good at um yeah so go out and do the things that you're not comfortable with um, have goals you know, set schedules and things. And it really does. I mean, I don't like it. I, I'm not going to put my hand up and say I love <laughs> going out and practicing. I don't. But I recognize its importance in improving my game. And Yeah. For sure. That's a good one. If you could start your Bulls career over again, would you change anything? Would I change anything? Yeah. I Look, I was really lucky. Um, I played with some really amazing players early on and got some really amazing opportunities early on. And that's probably uh, shaped the game and, and why I still play. So I'm really um, pretty fortunate um, in that sense. But yeah, I'm not, I don't think I would change. Yeah, I can't think of anything that I would definitely say, oh, that was the moment that I should have done different. Yeah. Yeah, fair enough. Well, that's awesome. And that's all my real questions. <laughs> oh, good. That was easy. <laughs> yeah.